Hi there guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build uh, your app in React Native uh, straight to the Apple Store for iOS. Uh, so as you can see here, I have uh, a little app uh, that I've made using uh, Expo with React Native. Uh, it's a really, really simple app uh, that uses SQLite uh, as a database uh, to store the images from your phone, so from your gallery it will store it into the SQL Lite. So it's a really simple app that will just like hide your pictures from your camera roll. So the purpose of this video is not to show the app, but it's to show how to push the app into the Apple Store from uh, using Explore and React Native. So the first thing that we need to make sure is to have the icon. So the main icon you need to be 512. Oh, by the way, I'm in app, I'm in app.json and the icon it needs to be 512 times 512 and uh, it doesn't need to have any transparent stuff and the notification need to be 144 by 144 the loading one need to be 500 by 500 this is really important if you don't have it or if you have a different image that is not this size it will just give you error when you try to build the app using export so you just need to make sure you have this if you are updating your app uh, just make sure that the version of your project is one above your version that you already have on the App Store. If you have the same one and you're trying to upload the same build with the same version number, it won't work. It will just give you an error. And if you're building for Android, just make sure that the version code is different and it's not one. At the moment, I just made this app and I could it just wake up because I'm planning to create an app that it will look like, like an alarm that when you press an alarm, the switch it will just go to the view of the gallery. But this is not what we're going to talk about. Anyway, when you think that you're ready for your project, you can uh, go to the path of your project uh, and uh, all you can do, I'm using Expo at the moment, uh, but before this, just make sure that you test your app uh, and you see that the, that the loading image is working and the icon is working uh, so let's get back to business so let's try to build uh, this app for iOS so in order to build this app for iOS you need to have a developer account if you don't have a developer account I'm sorry but you can go ahead and build this app for iOS uh, I'll put the link in the description if you want to be a developer account anyway it costs you it costs you 79 pounds and yeah but if you have it all you can do you can do x build build for ios and uh, yeah you just run it so we'll ask you to enter the email and password right, i think you will I need to clear my credential so I can show you how it's going to work yet. So I'm doing this uh, because I already built my iOS app, uh, but if you do dash R, it will clear all your credential and it will start over and it will ask you all the questions. Sorry, what was that? What was the app? And I will see. Right, see it was clear. Right, now it will ask me for my Apple ID, which is the email. I use for my developer account right now it asks me for my password right so now it asks me for the for my team ID which you can easily find to this link you go to the membership if you don't have an account you can you can do this but you just go to this link and you should be able to and you should be able to you have the number the team ID so I copied already I went already to the website and I copied my team ID and I enter here yeah then it will ask you if you want to do the distribution if you want to export to, to handle this I'll say yes And hopefully it will generate uh, my distribution certificate okay I was hoping to get this error because I already have some certificate 
with the same app in my team ID. So what I can do, I can go to my developer account certificates. Right, 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 right. So we got this. We revoke the certificate that we previously created. And I want to revoke this as well because this is the one referred to the my app. So by the way, Apple will create you two certificate or export will create you two certificate, which is one is for the push notification and one when you create the app. So if I try to run this again without the dash C, it will run my credential. So it will run with my same email, my same password and my team ID. Let's try again. Let's try to build iOS. Yeah, it says validating, you might need to clear it. Let's try to clear again. Right, I want to export your hand back. Now generating a distribution certificate, which is the one that I just revoked. Yeah? And now asking for the push notification or certificate, I will just say yes. I will say export handle it. The IPA. Go into your browser, I already have it. But so this will deliver your app just using the IPA. All you need to do is just like put the IPA, your Apple ID, it should ask you for your Apple ID as soon as you open it, if it's your first time that you open this program. But anyway, you click on here, IPA, and yeah, it's here. So you, yeah, you just open it, you should review your application, and right. So that's the most important bit. If you already have, so this would detect uh, all your version number, your logo from your app that you just built. If the version number is the same as the one that you have on the store, it will let you wait until you load your app and then it will tell you that there is an error. And you, do, you don't need to load any icon on your app store because this will go automatically into the icon field that you have on your iTunes connector. And make sure that your ASCII number is the same as the one that you have. If you're updating your app, if it's a new app, then it's fine. And yeah, that's it. And then you should hit next and it will send it. This will take it around, this app is 150 max. So it took me like half an hour to push on the store. So yeah. So thank you for watching and please like and, sub and subscribe. Thank you so much.